So I had the uh, common issue of the Traxxas Max ESC fan uh, compressing on hard hits or upside down when you when it goes tumbling, as you may have seen in another video of mine. I really beat this thing. It's what I, I bought it for. I bashed it around on my motocross track, hitting some pretty good sized jumps uh, and just sending it, having some fun. Anyways, had this uh, look at another video, had the ESC warranted out already. I have a feeling it was because of that, possibly overheating, even though my app on the phone didn't tell me that. Anyways, I'm going to do the aluminum upgrade, uh, aluminum fan upgrade, and uh, show you what what's going to work for me. May not work for you, but uh, give it a go here. So I happen to have an extra cover for my, for my other ESC. They told me to take it off. And they sent the new one with the new cover. So, cool. Um, here's the original fan. The new fan I got is 35 millimeter by 35 millimeter by 10 millimeter. So, 35 by 35 by 10 here. Bought it off Amazon. I'll have a link in the description. I'm not affiliate. I don't get any money from that. But uh, I'll just show you exactly what I got. Uh, it's Rocket RC, made in China, sure pass. Uh, this was $15.88, so pretty good deal. It is aluminum, uh, 21,000 RPM, 5 to 8.5 volt input, 0.7 amp output. It is brushless, and it comes with the JST connector. Uh, I already tested this. It is in the proper orientation for polarity. So I know some other videos I've seen, a main hobbies for one. Uh, and it's probably outdated, I'm guessing, but you had to pop these out, little connectors, and switch them so that they went positive, positive, negative, negative. Do not have to do that with this guy. At least I didn't. Again, your results may vary. Always verify. So I did plug this in, and you might not be able to see it. I put arrows on there, just like there are arrows on the stock fan that show you the direction the blade spins as well as the direction the air will come out. So factory, OEM. Uh, also note, there's a nice cutout here in the ESC uh, cover, and that's where you want your plug wires to come out. So when you pull yours off, that's what it looks like essentially, except it'll be snapped in. And as, uh, as you can see, the arrow is pointing down. So you put that in, the air is coming, air is coming in from outside and then going down onto the ESC. So we're going to replicate that, keep that the same. Obviously, <laughs> way longer, right? I guess if you had these ends or if you felt like soldering, you could, of course, cut this off. Uh, many of you probably will, and I would definitely recommend that cut these off so either solder that back on or use new ends um, I'm not that skilled and I don't have a nice soldering station so what I'm gonna do is what works for me and what's nice um, this this is gonna snap right in and make sure you get that orientation right and I was almost about to do that so there is a metal plate on one side and the fan is exposed on the other just like the factory metal uh, plastic plate and the fans exposed right so this would go up <clears throat> we're going to do the same thing and make sure that the air is pointing down onto the ESC and taking note of that notched uh, tab there so this should pop right in little tabs are latched just like the factory fan and that is spinning freely there's no resistance I blow on it it spins freely so it's not touching there's like a little foam piece that they have there probably for when it compresses I'm not really sure doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but so anyways, let's see if we can, uh, I'm just going to kind of feed this 
and using a flat tool, right? My uh, two and a half millimeter Allen head. Just gently pushing it down. It almost lays in there on its own. Anyways. But basically I'm just taking up the slack. So I don't want this rattling around. I don't want it getting caught in the fan. I don't I mean I guess you could have it come out of the, the cover and have it inside the truck. If you're comfortable with that, maybe zip tie it up. I'm sure it'd be fine. But this is what I'm choosing to do. So you do what works for you. So a little hot glue. And a dab will do you, I think. I'm not touching the wires. I'm trying not to touch the plastic. I'm just trying to get a little bit of contact on the wires. And a little bit of contact on the plastic. I'm just trying to make it resist so it doesn't they don't fall out, you know? There's not a lot of weight there. I'm not too concerned about any uh like the wires falling out because they weigh too much or something. So we'll let that dry real quick. Come over here. This is pretty self-explanatory. A million videos on this, I'm sure. You have a screw on the left and a screw on the right. There's two screws that hold, which is crazy. Um, you know, the second most, if not the first most expensive component in the vehicle. So again, um, if I have the right one, use your two millimeter Allen. have a little set of um, needle nose pliers that I use just being um, kind of electronics guy working IT try not to pull on wires too much they have some give they're stronger than you think but why risk it Instead of pulling on this connector here, I know you can't see it, just to come in with your players, right? And uh, pull up gently. And it's off. Stock one's off, right? So again, I'm fortunate enough to uh, track this sent me with my warranty another cover so i'll pop these screws out so i still have an extra cover those seem to have settled in there just fine Again, this is oriented properly. If anything, I, I still have a hair bit more wire than I did. That goes on there, no problem. Put the screws back in, just start that one. Um, not a trained mechanic, I work in IT, but I wrench in all my own stuff, diesel truck, gasoline vehicles, transmissions, engines, dirt bikes, quads, go-karts, all that good stuff, RC stuff now. 
um, just a good tip. You don't ever want to over torque anything, especially plastic or aluminum. Um, on these, definitely seems like snug is fine. Not going to bust my torque wrench out on this, but <laughs> I've been known to definitely do that. If, uh, if I'm given torque specs, I typically will. Can always, can always tighten it a little more, but if you over tighten it, you usually only get one chance at that. And then it's, it's stripped. Uh, and that's just not fun. I have done it. It's not... Not advisable. So again, I'm just uh, gently pushing these wires down back in the ESC for the motor fan, actually. Probably those are routed. Um, those kind of just fall right in there. So I'm actually using my remote <laughs> holder, my transmitter for my phone. Uh, turn that on. And you can see the... Fan blades are stopped. Oh, well. Still a rookie, guys. Need a battery. I had left it in there, and then I charged it. Definitely a little louder, but when I tested it uh, out in the open, I mean, the airflow difference between this new 21,000 RPM aluminum fan and this stock, the stock fan, and I'm sure if you looked up that part number, it would give you the specs. There's no way this is close to 20,000 RPM. Um, and even if it is, it's, it's just not moving the same volume of air that this is. Um, so I am definitely pleased. I mean, you watch me swap that live about, what, 12 minutes? Uh, again, I'll put the link in the description of this video so you can buy that exact fan. It drops right in. I'm pretty sure any 35 by 35 by 10 mil fan would work for you and should drop right in. Uh, it's the same specs as the stock fan. And then those little clips will hold it. Uh, I know I've seen some others, and I did order screws where you can drill a very small hole in each corner here. Um, and I did actually buy some stainless steel lock nuts and stainless steel Allen head screws. I don't know if they're going to be necessary. That's not going anywhere. So, hope you guys like it. Hope it helps somebody. Uh, I appreciate all the videos people put out that help me. So, hopefully, uh, I can do the same for you. If you want to throw a thumbs up, awesome. If you don't, that's okay. I don't mind. If you have questions, throw them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, have a great day. Have a good one. Have fun bashing. <laughs>